Welcome to our lecture, How to Connect with Canadian Employers. In this uh, lecture, we will explore the tools that you need to use in order to connect with Canadian employers. But before you connect with employers in Canada, you need to do the following. You need to assess your goals, to be clear what you want to accomplish, the industry, what kind of employers, if you have the experience, do you do you diligence in investigating about the employers, the main cities, what they do, what the goals are, the position in the industry, your personal goals in reference to what program you want to pursue after getting hired by then, if it's a temporary or if it's going to be for permanent residence eventually. So you need to have a plan and you have to have your goals set out. You need to have a plan. Uh, talking about the plan, if you fail to plan for immigration purposes, you plan to fail. So if you fail to plan, you plan to fail is a very accurate expression because the immigration journey is something that needs planification. It's not nothing for, for a quick fix. It's something that is in the long term. And for that reason, the better you plan, the better you assess your opportunities, the better you get the information from this course or any other sources, the better you are prepared to start your journey. Access programs and support. Get familiar with programs that are available for foreign workers, uh, support systems from employers or for organizations in Canada that support foreign workers and employers in order to fill their vacancies. You also need to learn about networking strategies requirements and in this course we're going to learn some of them. Effective communication requirements. Before coming to Canada or after you're in Canada, you need to focus on your communication. Second language, English or French. You need to pursue continuing improving because the more you improve the, your language communication, the better chances you have for better opportunities when it comes to jobs. How do you establish contact with an employer? The different ways to do it is, number one, through your network, people you know through Facebook group or LinkedIn groups or industry organizations, Twitter, internet, friends, family. You need to establish your network, especially of those employers in, in Canada. Following employers page in Facebook or LinkedIn, making some comments, getting some content, knowing people. So you need to really network way before you come to Canada. Another way you can establish contact with an employer is through phone calls or on online chat or Skype. Now with technology it's easy to talk over the internet to any employer. Of course if you need to follow the right step to contact them and then if the employer or person in charge to do hiring for that company in Canada wants to talk to you then you have to give it some choices. Phone calls will be good but the cheapest way, a more effective way, cost-effective way for the employer and for you will be probably online chat. And in some cases, Skype can be very more economic. And there are other applications that you can use, like Messenger or any type of uh, online conference. Okay. LinkedIn. Of course, LinkedIn is one of the main contacts for to find recruiters, employers, or workers that work in the company and that might introduce you to establish the contact with the employer and hiring managers of course in person through events the events can be in Canada or can be outside of Canada sometimes there's organizations that plan from the government also or from embassies to plan some kind of forums when employers from Canada travel to a, a specific country like in France and they interview and talk to potential f immigrants that want to come to Canada and work. So that's a choice. You can monitor that through the websites of the Government of Canada and also private institutions that also that, uh, prepare that kind of activities as well. So you have a choice to do in person through events. Built for events also you can do it through the comfort of your home. Through your computer you can participate in virtual events and in our group, the people that follow our group and our page and the information that we send will normally chair those kind of events. They can be at the provincial level, they can be specific institutions that help on that, they can be sermon services that prepare the kind of virtual events, but they are available online and 
the more you learn about them, you can subscribe, register, and then participate in those events. Of course, you need to go ready with your resume, your speech, what you're going to be talking, so you can impress those uh, employers, because it doesn't change the fact that you need to impress the employers uh, to be able to, to secure any opportunity. Employment Sermon Services also, they have a lot of activities, a good idea for you. And when you keep that in mind, just go and check their website. You can check all the services they have available for people. Just to learn about it, if you're in Canada, if you're outside of Canada, you can learn about those activities that they offer for employment and settlement services. Connecting with employers in a visible labor market. We learned in the past lecture about the visible labor market and the invisible one, or the hidden labor market, where how you connect with employers in a visible labor market. You will do that through answering to advertise job posting, just doing research to get job market trends and news in job bank. The job bank can be a, a good source. Also, do some research on uh, the website of the Government of Canada when it comes to job market trends. You can do it also in the website of the different provinces in Canada. They have the uh, information. You can learn from recruiters and headhunters that are recognized and registered in Canada. Uh, very important. And they have to be recognized and registered in Canada. If they are legit recruiters and headhunters, you will get information from them. You can also check the list of employers participating in immigration programs that are public. For example, the Atlantic Immigration Program, the provinces that participate in that pilot program, start posting the list of employers that are participating in the program. And that might be very helpful since these employers are already working with foreign workers, so they are accustomed to recruit foreigners, foreigners to work in Canada, and they already know the process and the steps. So, good choice for you to check. Now, how you can connect with employers in a hidden labor market? Well, you're going to have to start with networking. It's the, best, the number one tool. You need to do some company research to learn about the company, the city, where they are located, what they do, who's the main person, their clients, the requirements, the job posts, so do a total company research. So by the time you go to an interview, you can impress the employer and understand that you do your research, you know about the company, the needs of the company, uh, what you can bring to the to the table for them. Call contacting and call calls uh, might be another way to do it, but it has to be structured, well-planned cold call. Information interviews, if you can get information interviews when the employer understand that there is no commitment, but just an opportunity for the employer to know you and you let the employer know that you are willing to work, that you understand the requirements and any opportun future opportunity, you will be ready. So it's very good to go through the information interviews. They can be done online, they can be done uh, if you're in Canada. You need to follow some recommendations in order to do the information interviews. Where can immigrants network? Well, immigrants can network in organized networking events, and we mentioned some. They can be in your home country or neighbor country, or if you're in Canada, visiting or studying, then you can do it in Canada too. Community agencies that work with immigrants and newcomers, that's a good source, you can find the list in this uh, course. For example, Access Employment, that work with immigrants, especially landing immigrants, but some of the research that they have online can help you in, in getting information about how to assess their services. Job fairs, they can be job fairs internationally, or they can be job fairs through online. Professional and occupational associations, if you contact the associations, for example, if you are an engineer, chemical engineer, and you want to come to Canada, well, one of your first step also will be to contact the Professional Association for Chemical Engineer in Canada, especially the one in the province that you want to work. So you can have an idea of the requirements, probably meet some people, get introduced by them, and they can probably send the information, or you can access the information through the website. But that's a way to start getting involved in your field, if it's a field that you want to, to work when you come to Canada. Conferences, it's another choice. Meet people, network with people that way. Workshops and seminars, 
Again, these workshops and seminars can be in, in Canada and outside Canada and also over the internet. In the case of seminars, there will be probably webinars. And community events, that's another way to do it. If you're in Canada, you can participate in some community, especially if you visit in Canada. If you visit in Canada, it doesn't uh, stop you from participating in some community events, so meeting some people, and that way you make connections right away. Social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, is a good way to network with people, especially through groups. And that way you can meet people and get introduced and they can share information about future employment opportunities in the industry. So you start participating in groups, asking questions, and that way people can start networking with you. How to build your network. A warm contact is a call or an email to someone you know, someone in your network to uncover employment opportunities. So that's what a warm contact is. A call contact is a call or an email to someone you don't know, someone not in your network, to uncover employment opportunities. This includes reaching out on LinkedIn. So you need to understand that before you want uh, you start your networking, you need to understand what is a warm contact and what is a call contact. The plan is that when you start reaching to call contact, eventually with the interaction, messaging, asking questions, participating in the same group, you can start taking that person to move to become a warm content for you. And that's what you're looking for when you're networking. How to access the hidden job market? You need to engage in networking activities. You need to connect with your warm contacts. You need to build your network with cold contacts through social media and email. You need to conduct some company research. You need to request information for interviews. What to do in your job search. Attend formal networking functions like career fairs, conferences, chamber of commerce events, if you're in Canada, or if they have some virtual, just do it online, or if they're making activities outside of Canada, from some missions they do that, then just follow and participate in those activities. You need to reach out to people in your network, including college, alumni, and LinkedIn connections. If you do some courses, or you know some people that study with you and are in Canada, or through LinkedIn connections, then that's another way to do it through those connections. You need to set up informational interviews with contact in your industry. Uh, we'll talk about that in the past. Consider sending a message to friends and family in Canada, letting them know about your job search. If you have friends in Canada or you have family in Canada, just let them know that you're looking for opportunity. Maybe they can introduce you to a new opportunity for, through their employer or, or their friend's employer. And you need to practice your elevator speech, and we'll see what it's all about in the later chapters, okay? You also need to contact employers of interest. Make a list of the employers in your industry that are in Canada and reach out by either visiting their office in person if you're in Canada visiting or making a cold call again before making that cold call you need to make sure that you do all the due diligence about knowing about the company checking the job advertisement that they have and all the standard information okay and sending a letter of interest that can be a letter or email and for that you need to follow also the requirements of the correct email message. You can also subscribe to news alerts. You can follow companies of interest on LinkedIn and consider subscribing to news alerts such as Google Alert for companies you like to work for. So that's also some of the choices you can do in order to get information about those companies. You also can check the website for the Global Mail, it's a newspaper in Canada, when they always publish every year, Canada's best diversity employers. So employers are famous for hiring diverse employees when it comes to culture, immigrants, foreign workers, newcomers. So that's a good choice also to check. They also have several lists of different type of employers that we can check later on. And you also can check newspapers in the cities or locations in Canada that you are interested in. Here you have the National Canadian Newspaper and News Size. Basically you go to the worldnewspaper.com, you choose the country, 
and then you have a list of all the main publications then you can access those publications and check for job opportunities or employers through those publications online so also another source to to take a look at so i hope you enjoyed this lecture uh, we'll see you in the next one thank you very much